Hey Natural D Glam fam, it's your girl Jana and this is the I Heart Fall Natural Hair Edition tag. I was tagged by Ms. Natural Life. Thanks for tagging me. So I wanted to make sure that I got this video up. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I just saw the tag today. So I wanted to come on and do the tag ASAP. So here it goes. My username is Naturally Glam TV here on YouTube. That's also my username on Twitter. And on Instagram, it's just plain old Naturally Glam as well as on Facebook, it's just plain Naturally Glam. And my website is naturally-glam.com. And I am from Newport News, Virginia, bad news. That's right, I represent Two up, two down, all day, seven, five, seven. My favorite cold weather protective style is a bun, preferably a high bun, and that's because that's just my favorite protective style anyway. But in the fall, winter months when it's cold, it's very convenient because it puts your hair up. And so if you have like, um, earmuffs or you know some type of scarf band or whatever around your ears or on your neck your hair is sort of up and out of the way and it's not like getting all into all of that stuff so. two ways my hair regimen changes in the cold months is that I don't go out of the house with wet hair or with wet product in my hair just because I am wearing maybe a scarf or a coat that has a high collar and then you just get the drippies all of product all on your coat or on your scarf and it just gets yucky so I don't do that and I use heavier more oil more butter based products on my hair than in the summer because I want to protect the moisture and do a better job of sealing and keeping the moisture sealed in so I tend to use products that are more oil based or butter based on my hair just as an additional shield from the cool air um, drying up the moisture that's in my hair. My favorite returning fall TV shows I want to I wish I could say scandal because I so much really want to get into the show but when I hear people talking about it because I have missed like earlier episodes I don't even want to watch it now because I just feel like I would just be behind the eight ball so I would have to say shows I'm looking forward to coming on in the fall are the ratchetness of love and hip-hop and basketball wives I know I know it's terrible but it's my guilty pleasure I'm sorry <laughs> My favorite fall accessories for my hair are beanies. I have these in a couple of different colors and I just love it because if my hair is twisted and it's still a little damp, I don't have to go out the house with just my hair exposed to the cold air, which your hair is wet and it just makes it even colder. I can just throw on beanie and it looks really cute and you know. So I love it and it keeps your hair and your head warm your ears warm or whatever so I just love it and like I say get, get them in several different colors they're relatively inexpensive and they just look really cute my favorite fall activity that's tough I don't know what my favorite fall activity is I really enjoy the leaves changing in the fall so I'll probably say my favorite activity would be like capturing that um, photograph. The style that I said we're going to try in the next few months, actually I'm sort of trying it out now, is um, there's a style I've been trying to get with blown out twisted hair and it's a picture and I wish I could find the picture. I can never find it when I'm looking for it of this um, girl who had her hair 
blown out. It was two strands twisted and looked like bantu knot. And it was all taken out, but her hair is just like billowing over her face and it just looks gorgeous. And every time I've tried to do the style, maybe like two hours later after I take the twist out, it's just like swollen puff. So I'm going to try it here in the fall where maybe it, there's no, not so much humidity, blah, blah, not so much humidity because if you know anything about the 757 area of Virginia, it's like crazy humid. So I'm hoping that being that it's in the fall winter months that I'll be able to do this style and it'll actually last. Like as soon as when I first take my hair down, it's like exactly what I'm looking for, but then like an hour later, it's like, so. That's what I'm hoping to actually like have the style and be able to keep the style for at least, you know, a few hours. <laughs> My one tip would probably be to just take extra care of your hair during the winter months and really focus on moisture. And knowing that moisture is not just water and it's not just oil, it's the combination of the two. It's the water, water-based product sealed with the oil and oil-based product together that creates moisture. It's a common thing you hear in the natural hair community that water equals moisture. But in fact, water plus oil equals moisture. That's the correct equation because if you just have the water once that water evaporates or in the winter months especially the air dries the water up then there's no more moisture but if you put the water or water-based product on the hair and then you seal it with the oil or butter or a buttery product or oily product then it seals in the water and then that makes your hair moisturized so that would be my tip is to really focus on those two things and making sure your hair stays moisturized, not just watered down, but moisturized in the winter. Now, I'm supposed to tag three YouTubers. So the three YouTubers that I tag are Naturally Creole, Curly Cube Dominican, and Naughty Girl. Hope you guys enjoyed this tag video. Can't wait to see the ladies I tag. Bye.